curve. The supply of dollars comes from two sources. South African exporters, who export goods and services and are paid in dollars for their exports, and anyone who purchases South African assets, stocks and shares, with dollars. The higher the price of dollars, the cheaper South African goods become to people with dollars, and so the higher the quantity of dollars supplied. The lower the price of dollars, the more expensive South African goods become, and consequently, the lower the quantity of dollars supplied. The supply curve for dollars, complying with the law of supply, therefore has a positive slope. The quantity of dollars supplied therefore falls as the price of the dollar decreases. For instance, if the exchange rate is $1 to 12 Rand, a product costing 12,000 Rand will cost $1,000 to an American purchaser. If the dollar price is lower, say at $1 to 8 Rand, the same product will cost $1,500. It becomes more expensive, so less is bought and fewer dollars enter the economy the quantity of dollars supplied decreases. A movement along our supply curve takes place if the price of the dollar changes. But what about a shift of the supply curve? An increase in the supply of dollars can be the result of the following non-price factors. A rise in the gold price, higher exports to America due to economic growth there, or higher investment by Americans in the South African economy, and vice versa.